today we are going to learn about quorum of the indian parliament now what is quorum quorum is the minimum number of members of parliament required to be present in the house on a given day so that the house can initiate its proceedings okay so in simpler words how many minimum number of members should be present in the house so that the house can transact its business so that the house can start its proceedings so how much is the quorum is this mentioned in the indian constitution yes it is mentioned in under the article 100 of the indian constitution it is mentioned under article 100 that the minimum number of members required to be present in the house so that the house can transact its business and how much should be the quorum that is the one tenth of the total membership of the house okay one tenth for the lok sabha and one tenth for the rajya sabha it means if on a given day for a particular house if one tenth of its members are present then only the house can have its proceedings okay so for example we'll take for lok sabha Lok Sabha, the strength we know the current strength is 545. So one tenth of 545 will be 54.5. Now 0.5 is possible, no. So in a round figure, 55. So it means if on a given day in the Lok Sabha, 55 members of Parliament are present, then only any kind of meeting, any kind of proceeding will be there in the House. And if you go for Rajya Sabha. the strength is 250 so 1/10th of the 250 will be 25 it means if 25 members of parliament are present in the rajya sabha so same way it can also initiate its proceedings okay and one very interesting thing here is the speaker is a part of the quorum whereas chairman of the rajya sabha is not a part of the quorum why so because we all know that the speaker of the lok sabha is a member of the lok sabha too you cannot become a speaker of the lok sabha until and unless you are not a member of the lok sabha but for chairman we know it is a vice president who is the ex officio chairman of the rajya sabha he is not a member of the rajya sabha speaker is a member of the lok sabha so if on a given day say 54 members of the parliament were present in the lok sabha and one speaker was sitting on his chair so it means 54 plus 155 it means the quorum is complete okay so they can start with the proceedings of the house and in the case of rajya sabha we'll take an example 24 member were present and the one chairman is sitting will the quorum be complete no for rajya sabha we need complete 25 members to be present in the house because the chairman of the rajya sabha who is a presiding officer of the rajya sabha is not a part of the rajya sabha so he is not a part of the quorum whereas speaker is a part of the quorum so in case 54 plus 1 that is 55 members are present so then only any kind of proceedings any kind of meeting will happen in the lok sabha okay now the question arises what if the quorum is incomplete it may happen that when they started the proceedings when they start the uh, session when they start the sitting of the house 55 people were sitting 55 members of parliament were sitting there and then suddenly three of them they went to the canteen or they went to the library it may happen so what will happen in that case so the marshal who is there in the house will immediately inform the speaker that sir the quorum is incomplete so in that case the proceedings will be stopped speaker will stop the proceedings of the house because it the quorum is incomplete so what will happen in that case end of the session no everything is set in place if we talk about the parliamentary procedures speaker will order to ring the bell yes there is a bell in the parliament okay at every place so he will order to ring the bell so this they ring the bell three times and it is for three and a half minutes continuous three and a half minutes 
then again for three and a half minutes, then again for three and a half minutes. It means wherever you are sitting, as a member of parliament, if you are sitting in the canteen, you are sitting in the central hall, or you are sitting in the parliamentary committee, wherever you are, you get to know that the quorum of the Lok Sabha is incomplete. So please come back to the house so that we can start the business of the house. Now there are chances that the member of Lok Sabha may say that we thought it is a, a Rajya Sabha chairman who is getting the bell ring. No. So don't worry about this thing. There are two different ringtones. Rajya Sabha, a different ring, ringtone for the bell. And Lok Sabha, a different ringtone. So you cannot say that I was, uh, I misunderstood it to be a Rajya Sabha's bell or I misunderstood understood to be a Lok Sabha bell. So this will not happen. So, and you can't say that I was not able to hear the bell because the bell is ringing continuously for three and a half minutes. So when the members will be back to the house, Again, the marshal will take a count and will inform the speaker that the quorum is complete now. We can start with the uh, session, okay? We can start with the working. But what if even after ringing the bell, the members of parliament will not reach the house? What will happen in that case? So in that case, the speaker may adjourn the house till the time quorum is complete, okay? Or he may adjourn the house for the whole day in case the quorum, the required number of uh, quorum is not met. So then he may adjourn the house for the complete day also. Okay. So what is quorum? It is a minimum number of members required to be present in the house so that the house can transact its business. So it is one tenth of the total membership, one tenth for the Lok Sabha, one tenth for the Rajya Sabha. For more such information, Follow me on Insta and subscribe to me on YouTube. Thank you so much.